Oh, um, one last thing. The best place for this stuff is right there. So, that's what the best place for that stuff is. In the trash can. Alright, so I've got that stuff in there and I'm shaking it up. All I know is that stuff stinks. It's enough to make it sick. So, I'm going to shake this up for a while, get it agitated, and then let it set. Alright, that stuff is, uh, it's only been about 10 minutes, but it's starting to actually crystallize in there. Um, those little balls you see, that's it crystallizing. And actually what I did is I took and dropped some of that oil or some of that stop leak in this uh, in the package. Put a little water in there. See that right there? That's uh, that's it right there. So I'm going to let that set. See what happens. Alright, so I'm back. It's been about an hour and a half and um, really hadn't changed much. The only thing this, this successfully did was eat the epoxy off that copper uh, off that copper tube. You see right there is one at the bottom, those little black marks. Those, that's actually the epoxy. Oh, uh, that's actually the epoxy off of that tube. So, it actually ate that stuff off there, which is pretty wild. Then what I did is, I don't know if we can see this well, but see those little dots right there? What I did was I put some oil, some of that, not oil, but some of that uh, super seal just dropped a couple of drops in there. And I put a, just a drop of water on my screwdriver and dropped in there. And that's those little white dots. That's from, uh, that's the water. And over here I did the same thing. So it's not, it's not really changed much. It's starting to thicken up just a little bit, but I don't know. So now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take some of this, some of that stuff there, drip a, see what happens when they mix together. So now they've mixed together. About the only thing that I have done was smell the office up. But, you know, what are you going to do? I'm hardly ever in here, so 
come by here to do some paperwork and stuff like that and um, but let's see now I'm gonna open the okay got the lid open okay now let's see what happens when it drops in there Go ahead and put some more in there and see what happens. There's some in there. Hmm. The water just kind of like jelly in there now. <coughs> Look at that. It's almost like applesauce. It's getting almost like a jello before it fully gels. Hmm. Let's see what happened on over here. So I'm gonna let that let that set. See what happens. Let's see what this see what's going on with this stuff over here. Not the much. That's some pretty bad wicked looking stuff in here. Pour some in, in the 
force them in there and see what happens. So we'll let that sit for a while, see what happens. Alright, what I'm doing now is that red cup that was sitting over there, I'm going to take the rest of this stuff. Um, as you can see, I'm putting it in there. And I'm going to take, there's very little moisture, just a couple drops of water in there. So, I'm going to take some of that ace seal stuff, the green stuff, <coughs> and put it in here. But it's in there. Okay. And I know I already did it in that jar that had water in it, but this time I'm. It wasn't fair. Usually there's not that much water in the system, or shouldn't be. So that's why I'm doing it. <clears throat> so I'm doing this. Mixing them up because they both go through the system together. So. Alright. There's the stuff I pulled out of the out of the jar. Mixed together a little bit right there, starting to congeal, and then there's some so I'm trying to make it harden up the uh, uh, they say once it hits air, it's supposed to harden up. I'm talking about the super seal, so. I don't see it hardening up, but it sure don't like all that water. Look at that. Ah, I still got some of this dryer stuff left. See what happens when you pour that in there. All right, mix that up. Let that set in there for a while and see what happens. All right, so I think I'm done playing around now. Um, this stuff here was the stuff that came out of the jar. And wait till you see what's in the jar. It's probably been about 30 minutes again. Uh, this stuff that came out of the jar, 
this is stuff that the oil and uh, that green stuff was uh, together. You see it starting to congeal. Kind of reminds me of you know when you cook some some stuff in a crock pot, some roast or something, and you put it in the refrigerator. That's kind of what that stuff looks like. Congealed fat. And there's the stuff um, with the stuff. I'd put that in there before and kind of let it dry out a little bit. And uh, then mix that green stuff with it. And then there's just that super seal, the ace seal, and the dry stuff together. And you see it really, it's like a liquid. See what happens when we pour it in there. Got a hole in my thing there. Need to put something under it. In the jar. Let's open the jar up. It's uh, it's not doing a whole lot of anything. So, there you go. That's leak seal. I know I didn't use it the way it's supposed to be used, put in the air conditioner and blah, 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 blah. But I'm not gonna put it in the air conditioner. One reason I made this video is because I was watching a video the other day from a, I don't know what the guy does, but he was advertising for the new Calgon brand of this stuff. And he was out of the air conditioner and he was simulating putting it in the air conditioner. And I was reading some of the comments and this woman, she said, please help. I'm a single mom and my unit is low on Freon and the guy's been out here to put Freon in my unit, what should I do? His response was, you can order this at such and such website. I'm gonna try to find the video and post a link in the description so you can read it for yourself, but this stuff does not work. If it worked, the manufacturers would put it in their system from the very beginning it would come with the unit but the problem is it doesn't work so that's why the manufacturers do not put it in their systems so if they don't put it in their systems then you shouldn't put it in in your system either so oh and I put the sticker on it kind of matches the lid So I'm going to leave it in the office, put it over by the TV over there, and uh, then when somebody says, what is that stuff, I'll tell them. It's leak seal. It's what it does inside your system. So anyway, um, that's it. I did put some, there's some dried up right there on my screwdriver. Alright, so that's it. Y'all have a good one.